So finally, after months and months of teasing the wild tack 4 by 4 test dive, I finally got to dive it. And yeah, it's like exactly like the Everest 4 by 4 that I've done. Albeit this one's a pickup, and look with the 10 speed. Okay, my mask fell down. Oh, okay. Now there is a massive difference with the performance as well. This uh, by Turbo Ranger 4 by 4s acceleration is done in 8.8 .8 seconds, which is pretty fast already. And I can tell this is way, way lighter than the Everest 4x4. And yes, performance of the line is really, really good. And like my Everest 4x4 test drive, I noticed the 10-speed is not as laggy as you think. Even the, the engine, this also has the same engine, the 2 liter by turbo diesel engine with 210 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. Uh, okay, I remembered I said in my Ranger 4x2 land out, I would take that any day over any pickup truck. However, finally getting to dive the one with the 4x4, uh, we got a problem. <laughs> this one's really, really good. And unlike the Everest 4x4, for some reason, comparing the 4x2 and the 4x4, the steering of this is much, much lighter than the Everest 4x4. But of course, comparing the Waltac 4x2 and this Waltac 4x4, you can notice the weight difference. But performance-wise, this beats the 4x2 any day. And look, over here, rough patch of road, like every Ranger and Everest, excellent NVH. Even, what, the diesel engine. Yes, you can hear it ever so slightly only, but it ain't too bad. It's not as loud as one would say, like, most of its competition, which I have as well driven already. And, hmm, yeah, this is a real problem. I kind of falling in love now with the 4x4. Yeah, this price bump difference is quite steep as well. The 4x2 costs 1,569,000 pesos. This 4x4 costs 1.8 million pesos. Yeah, there is a gap. However, it's not like a big gap. For example, only what I want, the Everest Sport and the Everest Titanium 4x4, which is like a massive 400,000 peso difference. This one's just only shy like 250 to 300,000 pesos. Ugh. However, like the Wildtap 4x2, since being the top of the line, it feels as special as the 4x2. As well, if you want a more in detailed review of this Ranger Walta 4x4, link of that will be in the description down below. I'm only here for the test dive because I already did a walk around tour of that. Okay. Right, when you floor it, the 10 speed does not hunt for the gears. It will only hunt for the gears like here 40 kilometers per hour. It's already what, like in fifth gear. So at low speeds, it tends to hunt for the gears. But responsiveness, like here, just sudden stop. It's in, in third gear. Just a little bit delay, but it will get going immediately. So like in the Everest 4x4, the tuning of the 10 speed and the engine improved way better than before the previous generation the facelift whatever you want to call it and like the ranger wild top 4x2 you sit in a commanding position like you're already top of the world in a comparable ppv right here beside me you sit so high up unlike its competition and for some reason only i'm not sure if it's just this demo unit with the bike turbo engine i just noticed a little bit more vibration at stop like here I'm not sure if you can hear that on camera. There's a little bit more vibration against the single turbo. But it's not a deal big, but it's just something I noticed. Oh gosh. <laughs> Alright, that was just in two-wheel dive mode. I have not I have no plans of putting this in four-wheel dive whatsoever. Oh my gosh, that's so good. And comparing as well with the 4x2, the brake feel feels exactly the same. It's just as good as the 4x2. Of course, the 4x2 has better stopping power since it's a lighter car, but this 4x4 isn't bad at mm -hmm. all. Of course, as well, having an additional turbo, more power against the 4x2. I was expecting this to be a little bit more thirstier, but nope. So, my total average, and this take notes being used the whole day around BGC, same route, I've been averaging 8.9 kilometers per liter. 
that's not bad at all. I am very impressed with the performance of this Qualtac 4x4. So the biggest question now I have, would I take this over the 4x2? If I have a little bit more budget, I'd be very, very happy to take this over the 4x2. But to be honest, what I need at the moment, I'll be happy with this 4x2. Although you get more amenities unlike the 4x2, but you still have the safety reminders here, the 12 inch screen, the digital instrument cluster, which me and my sister had so much fun using, especially here with the drawing. And additional safety features as well with this 4x4, you also have adaptive cruise control. Then again, like my case from the 4x2, I, I never used the cruise control and yeah, it's nice to have adaptive cruise control at this price point unlike some of its competition. But to be honest, I'm already happy with just a conventional cruise control. And here over hump in the infamous hump at the museum, handles them with ease. And actually, Driving it a bit more, I'll be happy either way. Waltak 4x2 or Waltak 4x4. Dep depending on the budget, I'll be happy. Like my Ranger Waltak 4x2 review, this drives more like a car rather than an SUV, which is really, really good. And yeah, that's the problem with this new Ranger. It is quite massive. It's like almost F-150 style, what the size already. So maneuverability around the city may be a little bit of an issue, but you get used to it. Anyways, and since I own the pickup truck way back when, I found it very easy to drive immediately. So one more thing to drive left. Hopefully, if any of the four dealers will have or an owner will approach me, is the Ranger XL manual. I want to try the manual transmission of any of the units. But, and again, this engine does not come in a manual transmission. But it, this one's plenty good enough, I gotta say. So. get high speed really quick wow <laughs> so that concludes my review finally you guys all asked for it this ranger wild 4x4 so i'd like to thank ford philippines ford makati miss shan padit here contact details right here and sir alex right here behind for making this test drive review possible <laughs> I'm a bit mad at myself right now because I redact everything I said with the Wild Duck 4x2. I, I gonna, gonna want this 4x4 now. It's too good now. So, that concludes my review. Thank you again to everyone for making this one possible. Bye bye. Thank you.